on People Behind the Puppets. I am speaking to Matthew Robbins. Matthew makes shadow films, animations, and he loves music. Let's find out more. Hello, Matthew. I'm Angel. Hello, Angel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So tell me, what got you into designing and making puppets? Well, uh, I was at art school and after art school, I had a little break where I toured around Europe with a, a travelling circus for a while. Wow, a circus? <laughs> yeah, so there was lots of uh, juggling and stilts. Um, but mainly I was doing the music, you know, a little bit safer. Mm. And I thought, I need to do my own show with music. So I got my band together and we started doing shows with lots of songs about dinosaurs and robots and things. And what I found was people don't really listen. So I thought, I need to add some puppets to this and then people will listen. So I started making shadow puppets. Mm. So they're very easy to make, very portable. And if you're like me, I don't have the skills to make things out of wood or metal. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is just cardboard. So it's very easy, doesn't cost very much money. And uh, suddenly I added these to my show and, and audiences would, would pay attention. Oh. What, what is it that you enjoy most about making puppets? I would say for me it is, um, I like drawing and I like making things and I like, I like getting messy, lots of glue and paint. So everything I make is very homemade. Like these are from some of my uh, animated stop motion films. Oh. And it's just, you know, the, the hair is made from, from an old mop. Mm -hmm. This is probably like a bit of an old coat or something. The face is papier-mâché. So it means I just get to kind of like mess around all day with, with this kind of stuff. Tell me a bit more about stop motion animation. Well, stop motion animation is a version of puppetry where you don't see the puppeteer. Well, I mean, hopefully you wouldn't anyway, but you have these puppets and they've got little little metal skeletons inside made out of some, some wire. Mm -hmm. and what you would do is if I wanted this puppet to walk along the table, for example, I would have to move it a little tiny bit like this, take a photograph, do it again take a photograph mm. you do this hundreds and hundreds of times lots of tiny little movements and then when you play it back it looks like it's come to life wow that sounds like it takes a long time it does take a long time yeah it, i mean my films are music videos mostly so they're about four or five minutes but um recently i did a film that was like 25 minutes and that took took a few months wow a few months yeah. Gosh. <laughs> so when you are making and designing, what three things do you have to consider? I would consider the story, the audience, and is it going to make people laugh? Mm -hmm. These are things that are most important to me. So in a way, there isn't a particular kind of puppet that I always want it to be. I just think what's right for this story. So for example, you know, this is one of my characters, uh, Flyboy. He's a shadow puppet. Mm -hmm. Um, whereas these, like, this is another puppet from one of my films. This is, a, you know, a little 3D kind of model. Mm. So I think, like, what's going to be right for the story? Um, what's going to make the audience laugh? You know, how are they going to feel a part of what I'm, what I'm showing them? So those are the things I would always consider, I think, first of all. Mm, lots to think about there. Thank you. Um, there are a lot of different types of puppet. We've talked about stop motion animation. But what's your favourite type? I mean, I would say the type I enjoy making the most are shadow puppets because mm -hmm. it's very similar to drawing. So you can be very expressive. Mm -hmm. And like, for example, this, this dinosaur puppet that I'm going to demonstrate in a little bit, it can have these tiny little feet, you know, that wouldn't support a dinosaur in real life. No. <laughs> but because it's a shadow puppet, it's like a, it's like a cartoon that comes to life. Mm -hmm. um, so you can be very expressive. And also, as you can see, you can be quite messy so, you know, if your puppet, if you get it wrong, you can stick more bits on because then when we see it as a shadow, it suddenly looks very magical and clean and, and uh, tidy. Well, so. why don't we take a look? OK, so let's, uh, yeah, I'll show this in action. Mm. So here we can see the little shadow now on this nice bit of cloth, which you probably got at home. It's just a carton. So it's just a little moving mouthpiece. And then here, I'll turn it around. It's, it's it's tail. So then you can put a little show for your your family. Your dinosaur creep on. Well, that 
that really looks like something our viewers can try at home. Well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy. This is uh, made out of things that we've all got around the house, hopefully. Cardboard. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a bit of blue card from the art shop. But if you've got a cornflakes packet, something like that. So right, I don't know if your angels eat cornflakes. Mm, sometimes. Uh, barbecue skewers. Mm -hmm. Oh, we They're... eat barbecues. <laughs> that, that's, that's the mechanism. These are little paper fasteners, the, mm -hmm. the hinge on the jaw there. Um, yeah, and as, you, and as you saw in the little demonstration, I was just using the, the torch bit of my phone mm. as the light source and just an old sheet or a curtain. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very, it's very homemade. Yeah. And you've got a little sheep down there as well. What's that all about? This is from one of the uh, stop motion animation projects I made. This mm. is for a musician called Passenger. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is, you know, you could make this yourself at home. It'll take a little bit more time. This is a little, uh, inside the sheep is a little wire body. And then I've just stuck papier-mâché around his legs. Mm. And the head is made of papier-mâché. And then, okay, if you watch this. Oh! The head comes off. <gasps> so in stop motion, you want things to happen, uh, you want things to look like they're alive. But mm. if you make the puppets like me, out of papier-mâché, you can't really move it around too much. It's quite solid. So I've got this angry sheep's Whoa. head here. So in the scene with this sheep, he's attacking a wolf. Mm -hmm. So you've got this gentle little sheep. And then I'll take a photo, move it, take a photo like I described. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly it's going to lunge forward at the wolf. So I would take the head out, put this new one in. Whoops. Also the ears come off, so that <laughs> means I've got a little hole for it there. Can you see that? So I'd oh, stick yeah. that in. So that also means I can kind of move the ear around as well so you get all these little bits of movement mm. but you have to do it yourself you have to move it then take a photo move it take a photo animation is mm. quite a slow process yeah so then i'll stick this in the little hole like that and i'll probably put a bit of blue tack in otherwise it's going to fall out um so suddenly you've got an angry sheep oh yes very angry <clears throat> so it means you've got a, you've got a plan ahead and it's a little bit like that with shadow puppets because you can't you can't create distance very easily. So like this sheep, for example, if I want it to look like it's suddenly far away from, from you, from the audience or from the camera, I would just move it far away like that. With a shadow puppet, if you move shadow puppets far away from the light source, they're suddenly going to get quite blurry. Mm. So earlier on I showed you Flyboy. So here he is. This, is, this will be in a quite a close up scene. You've only got half the body there. Mm -hmm. He'll be talking to one of his friends like he's talking to you now. And then say in the next scene, I want to show the audience fly by walking off in the distance. I've got to make a tiny version like that. So then it's always going to be the same distance mm. from your light, from your torch, you see? Wow. Same, same with this. This is, this is one of my characters, Gravity. Mm -hmm. He's really happy here. Yeah. But there's a bit in this story where Gravity isn't happy because he oh, ate too much oh. for Christmas dinner. Mm. So I can't, I can't make this puppet look sad because it's made of cardboard there's nothing can move so what i do is i make a similar puppet where he's looking sad oh. or angry and then i just swap them around that is very interesting thank you so much matthew thank you for having me you're welcome if you want to make a puppet a shadow puppet like matthew's dinosaur then you can download the instructions on our website thanks for watching see you next time